To be honest, Kelly Rowland did a great job in Tyler Perry's film, Mea Culpa. Occasionally, you would forget that you were watching the beautiful musician especially towards the end of the film. Being one of her major roles in such a project, it is expected that some blunders had to come up. For instance, shortly after the release of the erotic thriller on Netflix on February 23, 2023, some fans took to X, formerly Twitter and the only memorable thing they could remember of the film was the sex scene between Zyre and Maya. One person wrote and wondered why Tyler Perry would make a highly coveted classy woman like Kelly Rowland to be involved in a raunchy disturbing scene with paint on a hardwood floor. A few social media users said they probably wouldn't watch the flick again. It was not only fans who gave reviews that were not so good. On Rotten Tomatoes, only 17% of critics liked the film, giving it an average rating of just 3.1 out of 10. Metacritic wasn't any kinder, with a score of 35 out of 100, based on just four reviews, all of which were pretty negative. According to Lisa Kennedy from the New York Times, the movie is basically a steamy and silly thriller. She says the lead actress, Roland, tries her best as a smart woman making not-so-smart decisions, but Rhodes, who plays Zaire, doesn't bring much to the table. His performance is flat rather than sexy. Murtada Elfidel over at Variety thinks some people might call it trash, but he finds something kind of admirable in the filmmaker's dedication to giving the audience what they want. He admits there's zero chemistry between Roland and Rhodes, and the scenes feel far from reality, but hey, if you're a fan of Perry's style, you might still enjoy it. However, there are those who feel the mea culpa is underrated by those who don't understand what a good movie should look like. After the film started trending on X, Kelly Rowland jumped onto her official X account to express gratitude to all the fans who loved it. If you have watched I and you are familiar with how Tyler Perry does his thing, do you think the film was up to standards?